Good morning, morning Desert, Desert Edge. Edge. Today is August 28th, and we're your anchors. I'm Danny. And I'm Gibran. And, and you're, you're watching DETV. -E Represent your club or sport in the first annual Mr. and Miss Scorpion pageant that will take place on September 14th. If you're interested in being a contestant, there will be a sign-up sheet today during lunch. FFA is holding CDE practices every Tuesday and extra SAE time every Wednesday, both of which take place in room C14 for the first 30 minutes of Power Hour. In addition, there is a chapter meeting on Monday, August 31st in the same place during the first half of Power Hour. Also make sure to go to the Safe Club after school in B9. Desert Edge students, are you excited for homecoming? Well, here's a video to show what you might expect. Hey Desiree, I'm Alicia giving you a report on this year's homecoming. This year's theme is a blast from the past. We will have a week where you can get dressed up and get pumped up. Here's the dress code. Monday, wear something from the 60s. Get all hippied up with frayed bell-bottom jeans, tie-dye shirts, and headbands. Tuesday, not exactly like the 60s, but still downright groovy. Women, accessories are important. Men, wear collar, t-shirts, bell bottoms and platform shoes and tie it all up with 70s style suit jacket. Wednesday, now we advance into the 80s. Girls, bring out those neon clothes you've been wanting to wear with your leg warmers. And guys, don't forget about those washed jeans and jean jackets. Thursday, there's so many options you can go with when it comes to the 90s. Bring out your parents' old pager or disman headphones. Part your hair down the middle, wear ripped jeans, go all out. Flashback Friday is looking back on our last 10 years of graduating classes. Show your desert eyed spirit. My name's Alicia, and thanks for watching. Students, do you like the parking rules or are people taking your parking spots? Here's a video to help you give a better idea of parking this year. What's going on, DE? I'm Orlando Vasquez, coming here from the student parking lot to talk to you about the pesky after school traffic coming from the new basic school. Basis is a K-8 charter school that opened for the 2015-2016 school year. Upon its conception, thoughts about potential traffic have been circulating through all drivers alike. Construction of the building and a new road had it appear as if the worrying was for nothing. However, it is now clear that the traffic would remain, resulting in a lot of unhappy motorists. The traffic at hand stretches around Basis and continues down the road in what might as well be a parking lot. And what is a nuisance for both the parents of Basis students and Desert S drivers, Here's to hoping that the traffic begins to dissipate. You heard it here, Desert Edge. Traffic, rage, and elementary schoolers. Studio, back to you. Desert Edge, have you heard of the new kiosks around school? Well, here's a video explaining what they are hey for. Hey guys, I'm Alina De La Paz reporting for Desert Edge, and we're going to go learn more about the new screen in the cafeteria. So the new screen is actually called a kiosk. It was given to our school 100% for free by the company School Life. It is through a company called School Live. It is a district plan, and the best part about it, it's no cost to the school or the district. It's all free. It works just like a bulletin board displaying reminders for school events and sporting events and advertisements from the company themselves. You will be seeing about six more of these in places such as, as you've seen, is in the cafeteria. We hope to put one down in the athletic hallway. We're putting one over by the auditorium inside the lobby. We're putting one in the courtyard one out by the bus doors and remember it is not a touchscreen it's a new week so you know what that means let's find out who the new teacher of the week is hey there we're back with another edition of teacher of the week i'm adam and i'm jason let's go Your teacher of the week! Yeah. Alright, thank you so kindly. Yeah, I brought hot Cheetos for to commemorate this, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yay, thanks guys. Um just so that she knows how to like teach you how you like how the way you learn, like she knows how to get and, to, and like to teach you how you're supposed to learn, if that makes sense. Like, Mr. Mintz is a good teacher because, I mean, she's really organizing what she does. When you want to accomplish something, she's going to help you be successful in that subject or whatever you need. You know, I've been waiting for it for three years now. Pretty excited. 
we try to make it just like a family atmosphere, and that's working pretty well, even though we're only three weeks in. One thing I do like about Ms. Shemitsky is that she helps us, helps me with everything like when I don't know what to do. Kids, obviously. And my coworkers. There's some pretty cool people here. Did you miss the game last week? Well, here's some highlights from the best high school team in Arizona, your Desert Ed Scorpions. Enjoy. Enjoy.